I call this meeting of the Williamsburg James City County School Board to order. Ms. Serza, could you take the roll, please? Dr. Beers. Here. Ms. Cook. Here. Ms. Hummel. Here. Ms. Minor. Here. Mrs. Taylor. Here. Mrs. Young. Here. Mr. Kelly. Here. Thank you. Can I get um, a motion for certification to close session? Mr. Chairman, I certify to the best of each member's knowledge the Williamsburg James City County School Board, while in closed session, discussed only public business matters lawfully exempt from the open meetings requirements as stated in the Virginia law, and only such public matters were identified in the motion convening the closed meeting were heard, discussed, or considered. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Ms. Erza? Ms. Cook. Aye. Ms. Hummel. Aye. Ms. Minor. Aye. Ms. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Thank you. Uh, before we begin, begin the regular meeting, uh, Dr. Constantino. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the board. Uh, good evening, everyone. Tonight, I informed the school board of my intent to resign my position as division superintendent effective August 15th, 2016. State Superintendent of Public Instruction, Dr. Steve Staples, has offered and I have accepted the position of Chief Academic Officer for Instruction at the Virginia Department of Education. I can assure you this was not an easy decision, but the opportunity to assist in the future of instruction in the Commonwealth, as well as my interest in educational policy and its effects on classrooms, makes this the right position at the right time for me. If there ever is truly a good time for a leader to step aside, this may be as close as it can possibly get. Together with our community, we developed and implemented a far-reaching strategic plan, which has at its core the belief that continuous improvement and success will flourish as a result of innovation and the evolution of our classrooms into personal learning environments for all of our students. In the four years of that plan, we have seen continued growth in student learning under increasingly challenging circumstances. Our division continues to outperform the vast majority of divisions in the Commonwealth. Our graduation rates are rising and our dropout numbers are falling. We have successfully implemented innovative technological programs and practices, will reimagine high school, have enhanced our computer systems, and repaired a significant amount of the financial damage caused by the recession. And of course, in a few years, the doors of an innovative middle school will open. The state of the division is excellent and poised on a trajectory for continued success. I have thoroughly enjoyed my five and a half years in WJCC. It has been nothing but an honor and a privilege to lead such an excellent school system and serve this community. I hope in the coming weeks before my departure to adequately convey my sincere thanks and appreciation to everyone who makes this division the very best it can be. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Dr. Constantino. And um, I guess on behalf of the school board, I'd like to congratulate you and uh, for your position with the Department of Education. Um, the Commonwealth's gain is our, is our school system's loss. Um, uh, we, I could... I could go about starting to try to list some of the accomplishments you've had over the last five plus years, but I'm sure I would leave something out. Um, you have brought uh, process discipline, you have brought uh, strategic plan, you have uh, continued uh, the, the uh, progress of our students, uh, you have reached out to the community and, and built bridges there uh, with the foundation. And so uh, just want to thank you for your time here, and uh, we got a couple more. We have a little yes, more sir. time left, so yes, sir. Thank not you. saying goodbye just yet. So, um, thank you. Uh, well, that will move to uh, 4.01 approval of the agenda. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to move um, an addition to the agenda um, 0 8.03 acceptance of the superintendent's resignation. Thank you. Um, is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Ms. Serza? Ms. Minor? Aye. Mrs. Taylor? Aye. Mrs. Young? Aye. Dr. Beers? Aye. Ms. Cook? Aye. Ms. Hummel? Aye. <coughs> Mr. Kelly? Aye. Thank you. 5.01, Announcement Superintendent's Report. Dr. Constantino? Thank you, Mr. Chair. <coughs> 
Tonight, I'd like to highlight two elementary school programs. To keep students' reading levels from faltering over the summer, Rawls Bird Elementary staff have designed and implemented a summer reading program that helps ensure books are readily available to all students. Since many students are unable to access a variety of books on their own, Rawls Bird has provided each of their families with online access to collections of books geared to both elementary and middle school reading levels. Each student was also able to borrow books over the summer to jumpstart their reading. The school is staffing its very own volunteer book mobile, book mobile, sorry, to give students the opportunity to swap out books and get new ones, see staff out in the neighborhoods, and support students' reading efforts. Additionally, the school has set up drop-in times when students can come into the school to share information about their reading, or they can do a school call-in and report to the office when they've reached a milestone. This is one example of a great program that demonstrates our staff members' efforts to go the extra mile to ensure student success. At Matthew Whaley Elementary, a student, fifth grader, now rising sixth grader, Annie Bush, proposed a buddy bench as part of her school president campaign platform to promote friendly and positive relationships between peers. During the campaign, Walk Right Construction heard of her plan and agreed to build and donate the buddy bench to Matthew Whaley Elementary School. The Buddy Bench is a simple idea to eliminate loneliness and foster friendship on the playground and before school is released, and before school release for the summer, several Matthew Whaley students took that goal to heart and forged new friendships on the Buddy Bench. Again, this is one more example of our schools working toward improving their climate for students and of the strong partnerships our schools and businesses enjoy, such as Walk Right Construction. Thank you, Mr. Chair. That includes, uh, concludes my announcements for this evening. Thank you, Dr. Constantino. Are there any other announcements for super? Any other announcements from the board? Takes us to 6.01 citizens' comments. Um, we have no speaker cards this evening. I don't have to make a. I don't have to say. Anything. You don't have to say your little spiel. Oh. So, would you like to do it just for? <laughs> the... It's okay. <laughs> So that moves us on to uh, <laughs> consent agenda. Can I get a motion to approve 7.01, approval of minutes from the following meetings, June 7th and June 21st, 2016. Personnel actions is presented tonight. 7.03, revised policy JN, Appendix A, student fees and charges. 7.04, release from compulsory attendance case number R17-01. And 7.05, fiscal year 2017 contract renewal authorization. I have a motion. I move to approve the consent agenda as presented. Second. Moved and, moved and second to present the consent agenda. Ms. Serza, could you call her vote, please? Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. Ms. Hummel. Aye. Ms. Minor. Aye. Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Thank you. Uh, can I get a motion? for approval of RFP number 16-8822, Computer Adaptive Assessment Tool to Northwest Evaluation Association in the amount of $72,699. Mr. Chairman, I move the acceptance of Article 8.01, RFP 16-8822, Computer Adaptive Assistance, to Northwest Evaluation Association, the amount is 72,699. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? I have to catch up with my little computer here again. Uh, it's been moved and seconded to award RFP art number 168822, Computer Adaptive Assessment Tool to Northwest Evaluation Association, the amount of 72,699. Mrs. Serza? Dr. Beers? Aye. Ms. Cook? Aye. Ms. Hummel? Aye. Ms. Miner? Aye. Mrs. Taylor? Aye. Mrs. Young? Aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Thank you. Um, can I get a motion for approval of new policy FFA uh, school names? Mr. Chair, I move approval of um, item 9.02, adoption of policy FFA school names. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? It's been moved and seconded for approval of ad adoption of policy FFA school names. Ms. Serza? Ms. Minor? 
Aye. Mrs. Taylor? Aye. Mrs. Young? Aye. Dr. Beers? Aye. Ms. Cook? Aye. Ms. Hummel? Aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Thank you. Uh, can I get a motion for 8.03 to accept Dr. Constantino's resignation effective August 15th and prorate his salary and benefits accordingly? Mr. Chairman, I move the acceptance of 8.03, uh, the superintendent's resignation effective August 15th, 2016, prorating the benefits and salary accordingly. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? I'm sorry to see the superintendent go, but wish him well on his journey and look forward to great things from DOE. For change. Oops. <laughs> oops. Oops. You can edit that on the television. <laughs> any other discussion? It's been moved and seconded to accept Dr. Constantino's resignation effective August 15th and prorate his benefits and salary accordingly. Mrs. Serza? Mrs. Taylor? Aye. Mrs. Young? Aye. Dr. Beers? Aye. Ms. Cook? Aye. Ms. Hummel? Aye. Ms. Minor? Aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Thank you. That takes us to 9.01, discussion of proposed agenda items, non-resident tuition rates for 2016-17 school year. Dr. Constantino? Thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the board. As you know, each year we are required to set the tuition rates for non-resident students at this time of year, and uh, we have done so. The agenda item in front of you takes you through the process of how we arrive at that, and Mrs. Berta is here to take you through that or answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Chair, members of the board, Dr. Constantino. As Dr. Constantino said, as required by school board policy JECB and section 22.1-5 of the Code of Virginia, we are required by law to establish non-tuition student tuition payment rates for the upcoming school year. Based on our calculations, we take the fiscal year 17 operating budget and take out special education preschool, summer school, adult education, and capital outlay budgets from that amount to arrive at a total, and then we divide that by our budgeted student enrollment to come up with a per pupil cost. For the upcoming school year, the regular education tuition is $9,623, which is an increase of $152, or 1.6% 1 over the current rate. For the special education student tuition, the rate is $17,841, or an increase of $160, or 0.90%. Currently, we only have one student that was enrolled this school year that pays this tuition. Are there any questions? Are there any questions from board members? Any question? Uh, I think we're good. Thank you. Thank you. But you're probably not going very far, right? Uh, Brings us 9.02, request for use of facilities, Unity Christian Church of Virginia, James River Elementary School. Mr. Chair, members of the board, as is normal process when we get a re re request of facilities of this nature, this does come to the board for your approval. This is a standard request uh, that you've seen several times in the past. We are, and I'm, I'm recommending that you ultimately approve the request. Okay. Thank you. Any questions from board members? Okay, um, that takes us to uh, ten point zero one board members' comments. Do any board members have any comments this evening? We're not going to vote at nine point zero two. Uh, that's a discussion item. It goes on our agenda for the next. Okay, meeting. thank you. So nine point zero one and nine point zero two will be a discussion item for. Okay, thank you. Uh, any board member comments this evening? Some. Yes, I attended um, a liaison meeting with uh, the county, um, with um, um, county administrator, Dr. Constantino and, and Mrs. Uh, Berta, and I just want to compliment uh, the continued uh, desire within the division to, uh, to align our practices more with the county. I think that meeting was very revealing uh, a lot of people are willing to to make changes and um, I was happy to be there and I I thought the, the conclusion of the meeting was very positive so I do want to compliment the, the uh, superintendent and Mrs. Berta thank you so much for um, listening to the board and making changes that I think are going to really help us thank you 
Thank you. Any other board member comments this evening? Ms. Hummel? Um, I just wanted to thank uh, Mrs. Young and Mrs. Cook for um, all the work they did on the policy uh, for the school change, name change, and also to thank uh, Chairman uh, and Vice Chair for all of your work on the superintendent's evaluation. I know this is uh, a, a lot of work on the behalf of the board, and I really appreciate it as a a board member that just is watching and applauding what you're doing. So I wanted to, to thank everyone for that um, and congratulate the superintendent. It's uh, going to be very nice to have um, a friend in high place. In the hold, hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> Chief academic officer uh, is, is great to have uh, that kind of connection. Uh, at the state, so I send my congratulations your way. And Thank then you. also want to remind uh, the public that there is going to be a uh, Department of Education, um, Mr. Staples, Superintendent Staples, he's the superintendent of uh, the Virginia Department of Education, and he's having a kind of an open uh, an open discussion, or uh, I don't know what do you call it. An open. Do you want to tell people? About yeah, that? it's uh, the board of Educa The state board of education is seeking input from the citizenry of the Commonwealth to guide them on um, a couple of different things. One would be any additions or deletions to the standards of accreditation and the standards of quality, which we have discussed several times on this board. And then secondly, to get input regarding um, the changes being made or the board's vision for a portrait of a graduate in the Commonwealth of Virginia, much of which is, is, has prompted the redesign of high schools and, and changes in perhaps the way the Commonwealth moves through high schools. So there'll be representatives of the, uh, the, the board has picked four um, geographic locations and, and when they asked us, we were more than willing to our role is to host, uh, to be a gracious host, but it, it primarily will be a meeting with, I believe, representatives of the state school board. I believe Dr. Staples will be in, um, in, uh, in present, uh, present at the meeting. Um, and they're, they're seeking input uh, uh, as they uh, come closer to making some final decisions for the direction of the state. And that's at uh, Lafayette. It'll be at Lafayette, yes, sir. At, on the 19th of July. At yep, there's a meeting. There's a roundtable meeting with invited guests at 4.30, and then there's an open meeting. 6.30. It is 6.30. It says 6.30 on the okay. web. 6.30 now. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mrs. Hummel. Any other board members? Um. I just wanted to congratulate you, Dr. Constantino. Um, my disappointment for the division is only mitigated by my um, excitement for the Commonwealth, and now more, even more children will get to benefit from your uh, leadership. So that is great news indeed. Dr. Beers, you have anything? No, I, no, I would just like to add <clears throat> some of the things that uh, the uh, superintendent just mentioned about that um, meeting. Um, it and, and the term that, that that the state board is using as, as, as a conversation. So um, it really is an opportunity for parents, educators, citizens um, to go and uh, not just uh, listen, but to also um, ask questions. They are looking at the profile of Virginia graduate, um, implementation of Every Student Succeeds Act, uh, recommendations regarding the standards of quality, um, identifying conditions and needs of public education, um, and the board's comprehensive plan and annual report to the governor and to the general assembly. So it's um, it's it's well worth the time, I think, to go. Uh, and uh, I too applaud the superintendent. Um, um, I, I think um, that trajectory is is uh, is, is very accurate. Uh, bring a, a wealth of knowledge and experience and background. And uh, I, knowing Superintendent Steve Staples, he does not make decisions like that. So I commend you. Thank you, sir.
Thank you. Any other board members have comments? This well, I, I'd like to thank staff for arranging the training for the bus drivers. We heard from them several times over the year about some of the challenges they face, and I think any time we can assist and support them in, in having appropriate training and dealing with our students on buses, particularly special needs students. So thank you for being proactive in doing that. And again, my congratulations. It is. It will be good to have someone in high places someone with your eye to curriculum and data and, and where we need to go in the future for education. Um, challenge that we have not only locally but at the state and national level because we're kind of turn of the last century and it's not really serving us well for this century. Students. But congratulations, good luck. We have another meeting with him. He's not going anywhere just yet, so we've got, we got time. Um, <laughs> Uh, we have a relatively short meeting tonight, but the work of the school system is still is still moving forward. There is summer school going on. Uh, there are teacher professional development sessions uh, going on. Um, the, uh, the, the work at James Blair continues and is uh, continuing to move forward. Um, I guess the administration is getting ready to get scattered to the high seas here for a few weeks while the HVAC stuff gets worked on. So. Uh, might be kind of tough to tough to find the uh, administration over the next couple of weeks, but uh, we'll somehow somehow track you down. Um, so uh, I hope the uh, the teachers are are um, uh, enjoying their break as they prepare because there is really no break; they just continue to prepare. That's my life, um, and uh, I hope the students are uh, getting geared up for another for another school year. And those who who we saw in June on the graduation stage are, are getting ready to uh, move on to the next, their next phase of life. Um, one thing, Dr. Constantino, that we had talked about before was uh, a timeline and a process for the Rawls Bird um, renaming. Um, are we gonna be prepared to talk about that uh, sometime in the near future? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It needs to be in the near future. Yeah. Very near future. Yeah. So uh, I don't I don't know if we can discuss we're already, names. We're, we're already anticipating that request, Mr. Kelly. We're already working on some things, and, and um, our goal is to have something to you as early as August to begin looking at um, in terms of here are some options. Okay. Process. Now that you you have a policy in place, it makes it a little easier. Great. Thank you. Uh, 11.01 .01, upcoming events, VSBA Education Conference July 19th in Richmond Marriott. Uh, not sure which board members are going to that, but you need to hurry home so we can, for the uh, Board of Education event to Lafayette that, that evening. Uh, summer graduation August 4th at 3 o'clock in the auditorium at Lafayette High School. And um, the policy committee will meet once again on August 9th at 1.30 in room 113 in the Stryker Center to review more policies. I thank Mrs. Young and Mrs. Cook for their <laughs> diligent and never-ending work on that whole topic. So uh, <laughs> appreciate, appreciate you guys sitting through that. It's and like uh, very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and uh, the administration's support of that, uh, it's... Uh, we kind of chuckle, but it's good work. It's important work, and it needs to be done. So I thank you for, thank you for that. Uh, our next meeting is August second at six o'clock. We're in closed session in the county work session room in Building F. On August second at six thirty, uh, we have our open meeting work session and action items in the boardroom in Building F. On August sixteenth, uh, we're in closed session, also in the county in Building uh, Building F at six o'clock, and then we have a regular meeting following that. August 16th at 6.30 in uh, County Building F. Um, 9.012 will be on our agenda for the uh, August meeting. And uh, with that, uh, thank you all for attendance. We are adjourned.